So what came in this little black box? You probably already know by the title of the video. All right, so let's go ahead and get into what came in this little black box. Now, you probably know by the title of the name, it is Sealy or Siley. I don't know how you pronounce it. There's the owner of the company. You can follow them on Instagram and Facebook. There's a website you can go. There's an email right there to get a hold of the owner. Owner's manual is very nice. Now this red dot, guys, will take the place of a Burr's Fast Fire. This went in the Vortex Venom cut. Very nice, nice owner's manual. Straight and to the point. You guys can kind of see how it's gonna look. Microfiber cleaning cloth. An extra battery drawer. An extra battery, I assume, or maybe we need to put this battery in, or maybe we need to put the drawer in. There's our tool. And here's our red dot. It's a nice little red dot. I like that it comes with a rail mount. Uh, that is one of the things, because not everybody wants to use one of these red dots for their pistol. Some people like to put them on their ARs. Let's go ahead and check this little bad boy out. I'm going to hold it up here. Sorry if you guys can hear the dogs panting in the background again. Like I said, we uh, just came back from a hike. That is its highest intensity level. Now, it doesn't flash. I can see it. It's not flashing like it is on the camera here. And it shows it's kind of starter bursting through the camera, but it's not starter bursting when I look at it. It's nice and bright, but it doesn't have the edges that it's showing on the camera here. Let's do some measurements, quick measurements real quick. We're zeroed. We'll take it from the front like we do all the others. Nice wide 27.7 millimeters. That is really wide. Height on it, 16.4. Forty-seven point seven, thirty-five point six. Let's see if the uh, dials have a tactile clicking. Yes, they do. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, I'll kind of hold it up to my mic here a little bit. Nice, nice tactile clicking. Very, very tight. So yeah, even the side has a nice tactile clicking. Let's go ahead and take this off real quick. I'll get it mounted on this Glock behind here. All right, so we got the got it mounted back on. Now as I'm looking underneath here, I can see underneath, their screws are a little long. They do come down quite a ways, so I'm wondering if it's gonna be touching the top of my slide. Kind of be a bummer if it is. Um, I hope not. So with this DPP titanium plate, I actually have an extra, a few extra screws. Uh, the only thing is, is I don't have one long enough, which is kind of a bummer. So I'm going to end up keeping their screws in here. I wish they'd shorten their screws, maybe just a hair. Uh, when I get back to the house, I will take and probably shave just a little bit off of that so it doesn't actually rub on the bottom of my, my slide. But you know what? The damage is done, so it's going to be, it is what it is. If it's on there and it's scratched, it's scratched. Oh, well, here it is. This is the battery drawer. I like that. You guys can just pull it right out. It does take a 2032 battery, very nice. You do get an extra drawer with it as I showed earlier. So if you lose it, not a big deal. There's an extra one. So to turn it on, we just push and hold the up button, shut it off. We push and hold the down button. Push and hold the down button to turn it off. Turn it on, you just push the up button. Adjustments, however you want. That's what it looks like. It is a very wide red dot. Uh, I like wider red dots for my pistols. I like taller ones for my rifles. So we'll do some shooting down range and see how this goes. Stand by, let's head to the range. Big Lee, how you doing? Enjoying your nice cool breeze now, huh? Yeah, I'll get you in the truck here in just a little bit. And then there's the Sam dog. Huh? Yeah, we had some fun today going up a little hike, huh? All right, here we go. We're gonna do some shooting. Wolf ammo, Glock mag, 15 rounds, regular Glock 19 frame. Uh, the slide and the barrel are the only custom parts on it. And now we got the Siley red dot on top. 
Oh, right, got a paper plate down there, 10 yards. Here we go. Made a little mark on the dot. Put a dot on the paper plate. So aim small, miss small, hopefully. Now, Stan Lee says to use their tool and sight your gun in at 25 yards. This is a pistol. I don't sight my pistols in at 25 yards. I do check 25 yard distances on them. All right, I sight mine in for 10. Then I go back to 15, 25. So, made an adjustment. Let's see if the adjustment works. And if it's too much or not. The last three shots are almost dead center, almost right on top of each other. I ain't messing with this right now. I'm moving right where it's at. I'm assuming it's just a good shot. Alright, so hopefully this is an enjoyable video for you guys. If you like it, give me a like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. 100 rounds through the uh, new custom built Glock 19 with the Glock frame, Glock slide, and the uh, AIM surplus barrel. Really like this uh, red dot sight. I think it's found a home. I think it's going to stay right where it's at. Feel free to follow me on any social medias. My social medias are Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Full30.com, and GunStreamer. Thanks for shooting the breeze with me, guys. We're going to go out with the last 15 rounds with the Siley Red Dot Sight. We are loaded. I gotta go reset all my targets up. Oh, nope, let's see the red one. Alright, guys, if you liked the video, like I said, give me a like, subscribe. Feel free to share this on any social media. Appreciate it. Check you next time. Thanks for shooting the breeze. I'm out. Usually I do this.